why don't we look at the real reasons why traffic is congested? I mean, one of the ideas that I've talked about, and I don't know if we have any Staten Islanders here, but the only way to get off of Staten Island is in a fossil fuel filled vehicle. Why? Because in 1923, when they started to build a tunnel to connect Staten Island to the mass transit system, the farmers out there didn't like it. Right? And so they stopped digging it. You know, well, the world has changed. And if we connected Staten Island to our mass transit system so that someone could get on the train in South Beach and drive and, and, and get on, go straight to the, the, the financial district in the city of New York, how many Staten Islanders would get out of their cars? We don't know, but I guarantee you it will be a whole bunch of them. So if you're looking to reduce congestion, you have to be looking at common sense ideas like that that actually will. And of course, the, you know, the commissioner turns around and says to me, well, you know, councilman, that's going to take a long time. I'll say two things about that. And the first is if they had not taken that act, you know, after 1923, we had it. Right? And that, that's exactly the kind of project that we ought to be doing now. With the Bush administration's answer to our recession is to send out a check and hope that people go and spend it at Walmart. The real way to get out of a recession is the stuff that FDR did, which is to fund real jobs, real construction projects for things that we need for our infrastructure. And things like this are exactly what we should be talking about and fighting for instead of dividing New Yorkers over the investment price. Now, the biggest failing of the Bloomberg administration is their inability to look at things as anything other than the way the rich Dan Dockeroff crowd sees it. And I have been extremely critical of them for that. I don't believe that Manhattan ought to be a place that we cordon off and make a, well, a playground for only people who can afford it. I was the one of, I think, three council members to vote against providing subsidy money for Hudson Yards up on the Upper West Side, because I thought, frankly, if you can't develop that piece of land in this city, in this environment, without government assistance, you're incompetent. It's the most developable land in the world. I, don't know, I wish I had a piece of that pie. And, and, you know, they just, their attitude of let them eat cake, when, when people first complained about the $8 charge, the mayor said, oh, get over it, you pay $12 for it. And that's the attitude that I object to. That's the attitude I think is wrong. And that's the attitude that allows them to cavalierly cut $5.2 million for shelter beds for kids. Because they don't see it, they don't get it, they don't understand what's important. The people, the people of ordinary means, need to do to live in the city of New York. And I am not here because I'm running for something. I don't know what I'm going to do after term limits you know, expire. I have the biggest idea to say to you, I'm not retiring. All right, but I will say to you this, that until this term is over, I will call the Bloomberg administration every time when I think they are doing something that is short-sighted and is not looking at what the vast majority of people in the city of New York actually care about and need. And I don't care whether it's Dan Dockeroff and his conflict of interest war or this. They're shoving money into an organization in downtown Brooklyn uh, they're putting, putting all their patronage cronies in there and then having them hire lobbyists and, and, and waste $2 million of taxpayers' money. I don't care if I'm not Mike Bloomberg's favorite counsel. Because the fact of the matter is that someone's got to be talking about this. He gets away with it. He, it's Teflon for Mike Bloomberg. I believe that in his heart, he believes in the things he's doing. I honestly don't question his motives. I question whether or not he understands what New Yorker's about, what New Yorkers want, what we really need as a priority, because quite frankly, when you're driving two SUVs to take the subway, it's not exactly the reality that, that we're all living in. So uh, I, that, that's all I really have for you tonight. If anyone has questions for me, I'd be happy to take you.